Okay, everyone, I'm going to show you how to use your Noodle Tools account in relationship with National History Day. So each of you should have a project already built. Here is my example one that I'm going to use to show you how to A, make a note card, and B, create sources in your bibliography. All right, so I'm going to go into my project here. This is your dashboard. We covered this a little bit with your argumentative writing. Eventually, you will put a question and your thesis right in here, and you should have already shared your project with Mrs. Kaufman and myself. So let's go ahead and start with our note cards. You'll find it right up here on the taskbar. You click on that one. You'll notice I've made some example ones. Now, I want to point out a couple things. This section right here is called your tabletop. This is where you can stash your note cards, you can organize them, you can put them into piles, so if you have sor multiple sources for very similar information, you can stack them all together as a way to help you organize your uh, information. Notice that when you hover over this, it will give you the title of the card, and if there's any data to display, it will be there as well. So I'm going to go ahead and click in on that one. Okay, this is my example card. I titled it Lost Generation Information, and then I linked it with one of the sources that I have created. Okay, this will be important going forward that you'll be able to connect what information you got from where. So don't ever forget to uh, create your sources. Now in this section over here, you're going to put your direct quotations. This is your direct textual evidence. What you got verbatim, word for word, from your sources. If you'd like to read that, you're welcome to. Now over here, paraphrase or summary. This is the important part. This is where we start to see your analysis come into play. Uh, you can either summarize the information that you found, connect it with uh, how you are going to put it into your National History Day project. Now down in this box here, original thinking, you could put your ideas, your questions, your next steps, whatever it is, whatever best helps you. One last reminder with the note cards, always make sure you hit save and close. Over here you have the section called the bird eye view. You'll notice that within the square you'll see these little gray boxes. These gray boxes are your note cards and sometimes cards get stacked on top of one another like I just demonstrated. It, it will make a pile but then you might lose it here. Okay, so where did it go? You can move the square like that to get a better idea of where your ta uh, sorry where your note cards are at. All right, this concludes how to use our noodle tools for making note cards. Our next lesson will be on sources.